Hey, Descendants fans, welcome back to our channel. Descendants The Rise of Red has made its grand debut, and it's everything we hoped for and more. From new characters to fresh storylines and catchy songs, this movie truly delivers. But while we're enjoying the magic on screen, the cast was working hard behind the scenes to make sure this installment lived up to expectations. In this video, we're diving deep into the strict rules and intense preparation the cast had to endure to bring Descendants 4 to life. From rigorous training to spending hours in makeup, these actors went above and beyond to give us the best movie possible. Before we kick off, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for more awesome content. Let's jump right in. When you watch Descendants The Rise of Red, it's impossible not to notice the epic battles, time-traveling adventures, and stunning choreography. But what you might not know is that bringing these elements to the screen required a lot more than just acting skills. The cast had to participate in an intense month-long boot camp before filming even began. This wasn't your average workout routine. The actors had to train extensively in dancing, sword fighting, and even harness work, which were crucial for making the action-packed scenes look as realistic as possible. Take Malia Baker, who plays Chloe, and Kylie Control, who portrays Red. Both had significant sword fighting scenes, so they spent countless hours mastering their swordsmanship to ensure every move looked fluid and natural. Meanwhile, Dara Renee, who plays Yuliana, dedicated half of her boot camp time to harness work because her character's tentacles required her to perform high-flying stunts. Ruby Rose Turner, who plays Bridget, also had to practice stunts, particularly for her electrifying performance in Life is Sweeter. The dedication didn't stop there. Even Peter Lindell, who plays Morgie, worked tirelessly on their rope stunts, flips, and fight scenes. The cast's hard work paid off, as fans have been raving about the authenticity of these performances. The cast's commitment to their roles was truly impressive, and it's clear that they put in an insane amount of time and effort to ensure every scene was as perfect as possible. Behind the scenes photos and videos of their dance practices and harness work have shown just how much preparation went into making this movie. One of the standout elements of the Descendants franchise has always been its incredible costumes, and Descendants The Rise of Red certainly didn't disappoint in this department. Creating these stunning looks was no easy task, and the cast had to endure hours in the makeup chair to achieve their characters' signature styles. Each character had their own distinct color palette, and ensuring that these colors complemented each other across the various departments required a massive team effort. From the costuming and props to sets and locations, every department had to work together to keep the characters' looks consistent. Each character's color range was meticulously planned out, with department meetings held to decide on everything from the perfect shade of blue to the right length for a wig. Mattel even played a role in the costume design, as they had to ensure that the costumes would look just as good on Descendants dolls as they did on screen. For example, during Malia's first meeting with the costume designers, they tested different shades of blue to see how they would work with her skin tone and how they would translate to the dolls. One of the biggest challenges was finding the perfect wig for Chloe, a task that took several attempts by different hair professionals, this explains why Chloe's hair changes slightly in different scenes. But the effort was worth it. Each character's look is a perfect reflection of their personality. Red's fierce hair and striking costume embody her fiery spirit, while Chloe's bright blue hair and sleek outfit showcase her boldness. Other characters, like Bridget with her beautiful pink hues and Ella with her electric blue colors, also had looks that were both stunning and fitting for their characters. And of course, we can't forget about the villains. From Uliana's and Uma's menacing looks to the iconic Queen of Hearts, each villain's final appearance was nothing short of perfect. The cast not only had to spend hours getting into these looks, but also had to perform all their dancing and stunts in these elaborate costumes. When it comes to the Descendants franchise, the dancing and singing are just as iconic as the costumes. For Descendants 4, the cast didn't just show up and start performing. They had to go through a rigorous process to ensure that every song and dance number was perfect. One of the first tasks in the production process was recording the songs in the studio. These recordings were not only essential for filming, but also needed to be polished for the soundtrack album, which fans can now enjoy on platforms like Spotify. But recording the songs was just the beginning. After the studio sessions, 
the cast had to spend hours rehearsing their dance routines every day. The casting call specifically sought out actors who were also skilled singers and dancers. These performers needed to be able to execute complex choreography while staying in character, and the cast didn't disappoint. Kylie started dancing when she was just two years old and even competed in dance competitions by the time she was seven. Her YouTube channel is filled with videos showcasing her incredible dancing skills, which undoubtedly helped her nail the choreography in the movie. But Kylie wasn't the only one with impressive dance moves. Ruby is also a talented dancer, and her friendship with Kylie in real life only added to their on-screen chemistry. The two worked together on the choreography for the songs Red and Life is Sweeter, and their hard work is evident in every step. Malia and Morgan are also standout dancers, adding even more talent to the cast. Morgan, who grew up doing theater and musicals, is not only an actress, but also a singer who's currently working on her own album. Malia, on the other hand, almost missed out on the opportunity to audition because she didn't think she was strong enough in musical theater. Thankfully, her younger sister convinced her otherwise, and Descendants wouldn't be the same without her. While the movie is filled with drama, conflict, and rivalry, the reality behind the scenes was quite the opposite. The cast found it challenging to stay in character at times, not because of the script, but because they all became such close friends in real life. Red and Chloe might start off as enemies on screen, but Kylie and Malia couldn't help but struggle with acting like they hated each other. Their chemistry was so strong both on and off the screen that fans even began to speculate if they were dating in real life. However, it looks like they're just the best of friends. Rita Ora, who plays the Queen of Hearts, found it particularly difficult to be cruel to Cinderella during their scenes together. After every take, Rita would apologize to Brandy, who plays Cinderella, because the two also became close friends. Brandy, being the seasoned professional she is, would even give Rita advice on set. When they weren't filming or rehearsing, they were often seen enjoying each other's company. Malia even made sure everyone joined her in Morgan's trailer for lunch when she knew Morgan would be eating alone. In between takes, the cast was always joking around and they shared plenty of videos showcasing their behind-the-scenes fun. The photos they posted of their off-screen friendships are absolutely adorable. Their strong off-screen friendships have led to plenty of dating rumors, too. Some fans speculate that Ruby might be dating Joshua Colley, who plays the young Hook, while others believe Morgan could be involved with Tristan Padil, who plays Prince Charming. While none of these relationships have been confirmed, the rumors may hold some truth. For many of the cast members, being part of a Disney production wasn't just another acting gig. It was the fulfillment of a Disney dream. They didn't just land these roles by chance. They manifested them through years of dreaming and hard work. Kylie is a perfect example. She vividly recalls being in fourth grade when the first Descendants movie premiered. Kylie was instantly hooked. The moment Rotten to the Core came on, she was sold. She knew she wanted to be a VK one day. Morgan also felt like she was destined for her role. She wanted to audition for the original movies so badly, and now, here she is, starring in Descendants 4. Joshua had his own Disney dream. He even dressed up as Hook for Halloween when he was just seven years old. Some cast members even had a taste of Disney magic before. Kylie starred in Gabby Duran and The Unsittables, and Ruby was part of Coop and Cammy Ask the World. Being part of the Disney family is more than just a job. It's being part of a community that the cast is proud to represent. Of course, being a Disney star comes with its responsibilities. The cast has been busy promoting the movie, attending Disney events, and even performing at D23. Kylie and Malia even went on a Disney cruise. They've been having the time of their lives, and it shows in every promotional appearance. And just like any true Disney fan, some of the cast members couldn't resist taking a few souvenirs home from the set. Ruby took home the pearl heart ring she wore in scenes like Shuffle of Love, though she admits she's too scared to wear it in case she loses it. Morgan collected the butterflies that kept falling off Ella's shoes. The cast is clearly enjoying every moment of their Disney journey, and they're doing an amazing job of representing the franchise. Apart from the stunts, costumes, dancing, and singing, what really sets Descendants apart is its captivating and magical story. With Descendants, the rise of Red being a continuation of the original trilogy, the cast had some big shoes to fill. They needed to prepare for their role extensively to capture the essence of the original films, 
while also bringing something fresh to the table. One of the most important moments in the movie was the scene that mentions Carlos, the character played by the late Cameron Boyce. This scene was crucial for both the fans and the cast, particularly China and McLean, who plays Uma and was a close friend of Cameron. The result was a touching tribute that brought tears to the eyes of many, including China herself. In fact, after filming that emotional scene, China took the framed photos of Cameron's character home with her. Given that many of the cast members were new to the franchise, they had to work hard to capture the magic that made Descendants so special. Rita Ora received a lot of help from Dove Cameron, who played Mal in the original movies. Rita asked countless questions and did a ton of research to rediscover the essence of the Descendants' world. For Dara, the preparation involved studying every version of Ursula she could find. She also studied China and McLean's portrayal of Uma religiously, mimicking every movement and mannerism to ensure she did the character justice. Brandy, on the other hand, didn't need much preparation, as she reprised her role as Cinderella from the 1997 movie. She was thrilled to be reunited with Paolo Montalban, who returned as Prince Charming. Many of the cast members were huge fans of Brandy growing up, making it a surreal experience to work alongside her. Both Morgan and Malia idolized Brandy as kids, and Rita Ora's first concert was actually a Brandy concert. The cast's commitment to their roles truly shines through in their performances. Thanks for watching. Who's your favorite character from Descendants The Rise of Red? What did you think of Descendants 4? What's your favorite song from the movie? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe.